Folks, today I wanna to show you some of the rarest Funko Pops in my collection, and that would be in the form of Funko NFT physical pops. I actually have a decent amount of them in my collection. I'm very excited to show them off to you guys, and without any further ado, let's get it started. Here we go. Here we go. So Funko NFTs actually have quite a weird and interesting history. So in August of 2021, Funko actually started off with its first line of digital collectibles in the form of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This was essentially Funko's attempt to join into that digital collectible NFT craze going on. And essentially you buy packs and in those packs you have the chance to pull redeemable Funko Pops. The chances are pretty darn slim, but I will say I've actually had some pretty good luck in the past, and that's how I've gotten all of these different figures. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna have different like mixed opinions about Funko NFTs, and you know, you'll have to let me know in the comment section below what you think. So ironically, I actually showed these off in yesterday's video, but I wanna start off with these guys right here, and this is from the NFT April Fools line. So going from left to right, guys, we have the 2,250 piece Baby Freddy right here. This is definitely a really cool one. I love that he's holding the Diablo Wacky Wobbler in his hand right there. And the oversized crown, I think that's an awesome detail. The 999 piece Grail right here, we have the Freddy Funko holding Max Togenhead, who is holding Freddy Funko. Some great detail on that, guys. And if you can see that tiny little Freddy Funko in there, not much detail, it's a little terrifying, but that is definitely a really cool Freddy Funko Grail. And this one they hinted on social media about on April Fool's Day a couple years ago, but limited to 2,000 pieces, guys, we've got the egg. Also got a Funko crown, it's pretty simple, but it looks great, I, I love the joke behind it. But funny enough, folks, I actually have an extra one of this Freddy Funko right here, and this is gonna be in my Whatnot auction tonight. And if you guys are interested in purchasing this figure, definitely follow the link down below, because this is gonna be starting at a dollar in an auction. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for all of the different April Fool NFTs. All right, next up, I've got some Hanna-Barbera NFTs, and we have Birdman and Mighty Miter. I got him out of the box, so we're gonna start off with Birdman first. He's limited to 2,000 pieces. There's something about Funko Pops that I really love when uh, you know that they are like characters that fly and they give them like these little stands to kind of give them some movement. And I think this Funko Pop turned out great and it looks pretty cool. Next up guys, I got the Mighty Miter. He is also limited to 2,000 pieces. And I gotta say, dude is freaking jacked. He is absolutely ripped, dude. He's He's been lifting some weights. But muscles aside, guys, this is a great Funko Pop as well. And there are the only ones that that I have from the Hanna-Barbera set. I'll definitely show you the other ones that are a part of the set, but these are the only two that I actually have. On the topic of Hanna-Barbera, guys, let's take a look at some of the Flintstones NFTs. And there's actually a couple of these that I am missing, and I only have three out of the set. I believe there's probably like a Fred Flintstone and a Barney that I'm missing. There might be another one. But starting things off with Freddy Funko as Fred Flintstone. This one is limited to 2,000 pieces and obviously the royalty. And I gotta say, I love how they added the Funko crown on top of the water buffalo hat that Fred would normally wear. But Freddy definitely looks great. We're gonna go over to Wilma right here. She is limited to 1,800 pieces. I think there's actually another version of Wilma that exists, but I think I prefer this one. And the fact that I like this one better is because that she is holding a tiny little pebbles right there. So that's pretty cool that they made the limited piece version of Wilma a little bit more special in my opinion. And then sliding over to the last one, the 1,800 piece Dino. There's actually a couple of different Dino pops out there. There might even be one of him in a ride too. But anyways, I think I prefer this one. He's holding the giant dinosaur bone right there and he's got his tongue sticking out. But if I were to have any Dino Pops, I think I'd probably prefer this one. But anyways, that does it for another set of Hanna-Barbera in the form of Flintstones. Moving on to even more Hanna-Barbera, guys. I have this set that has a majority of the Jetsons and also Space Ghost. But I think the only one that I'm missing from this actual set is the Grail Huckleberry Hound. But anyways, let's take them out of box. Starting off with Freddy Funko over here, guys, limited to 3,000 pieces. This is Freddy Funko as Space Ghost, and he also has the little monkey blip. I gotta say, I think this is actually pretty awesome because the original Space Ghost pop actually doesn't have blip on the side of him, I, I believe so. But hey, it's definitely a pretty awesome Freddy Funko, and I love the fact that his crown is black, too. Moving on to Elroy right here, he is limited to 1,635. And I gotta say, I am a sucker for pops, guys, that have domes over them. I'm not quite sure what it is, but I just think they look really cool. If we're going over to our other domed pop right here, guys, we have the pet of the family, Astro. 
Honestly, I love the dome on this guy too. He is limited to 1635, just like Elroy. But yeah, I don't feel like there's much more to really say about Astro. He is definitely a really great character. And I think his Funko Pop NFT physical pop turned out great. And then the father of the family, guys, we have George Jetson right here, also limited to 1635. I'm not quite sure what the significance is of him wearing red and maybe was it like a Christmas episode or something? I could be completely wrong on that, but this is definitely a great George Jetson figure. And uh, yeah, there are some more Hanna-Barbera pops and we're actually not done with Hanna-Barbera quite yet. And right here, guys, I have the Scooby-Doo NFTs. There's a couple that I'm actually missing. I believe the Grail Scooby-Doo, it's like a superhero Scooby, and also the Royalty, which is the Freddy Funko as Captain Cutler. And that is one that I've definitely been hunting down. And I need to add it to my collection, but I've got the monsters right here. Okay, let's start off with the Ghost of Redbeard right here, guys. I love me some Scooby-Doo monsters, and when they make them into Funko Pops, I definitely really appreciate it. So I gotta say this whole set of NFTs is pretty awesome, but yeah, the Ghost of Redbeard is great. I love the attention to detail, guys. Just overall, Charlie the Robot is a pretty simple one. Oh, and I forgot to mention that these ones are limited to 1550, so Charlie the Robot also limited to 1550. Definitely a really classic monster for sure. I think this one would have been cool if it glowed in the dark, especially maybe like a blue color. But hey, I'll definitely take it. Turned out great as a Funko Pop. And I think this one might be my favorite, guys. Limited to 1550, we have the Snow Ghost. It's a pretty darn big Funko Pop. They could have easily turned this one into a six inch one, but I gotta say the overall sculpt looks great. I love that he's got his hands out. You know, he's ready to scare the gang. And honestly, I could see another set of Funko NFTs for Scooby-Doo. They definitely have a good set of monsters that they still need to make, but this definitely is one of my favorite NFT sets. Moving on to another one of my favorite sets, guys. I have the entire complete set of Looney Tunes NFT pops. Right here, I've got Freddy Funko as Bugs Bunny. This is the royalty. And honestly, guys, if there was any character that they were going to make the royalty, Bugs Bunny definitely makes sense. Limited to 3,000 pieces. This is obviously, you know, it's Freddy Funko in kind of like a Bugs Bunny suit, if you will. Love the fact, guys, that he's got the Freddy Funko crown and it's only covering one ear. I think that's great. But if they were to do this again, guys, I mean, I would imagine that they probably do a Freddy Funko as Daffy Duck. But then again, that might get a little complicated with like the beak and everything. I'm sure they could figure it out. Next up, guys, is the legendary Yosemite Sam limited to 1635. And I love the fact that some of these characters that they actually made that weren't Funko Pops that had already existed. And Yosemite Sam was one of those guys. But I mean, come on, he's probably one of the most over the top crazy cartoons you can see. I mean, his like eyebrows, mustache and beard all are like in one big combo kind of thing. Love the fact that he's holding a little sack of money right there. This is probably one of my favorite NFT pops like overall, I would say. Leghorn Leghorn definitely comes pretty close as well. And I believe he's holding a mini version. I think his name is Hawk. But limited to 1635, another new character. I definitely appreciate it when Funko does that. And some people might be a little upset that, you know, it is a new character, but you could only get it in the form of an NFT. Either way, it's pretty cool that it's limited and we got a new character. So I can't complain about Foghorn Leghorn. Next up, guys, we have a second version of Roadrunner, but this one's pretty cool because of the fact that he's running. I think they actually did a pretty decent job on this. Honestly, it could have looked a lot worse, but I think it looks pretty solid. Also limited to 1635, and the fact that he's got that sign right in his hand that says beep beep, you know, that's icing on the cake. And I thought it was interesting that they selected this guy as the Grail limited to 999 pieces right there, but we have Wiley Coyote. And this obviously would be him if he's smashed probably by an anvil, I would imagine. He's got the accordion body right there. It's a really fun Fungo Pop. I think they could have done a better one as a Grail, but over Overall, as a set, I think the Looney Tunes ones are fantastic. Next up, I have a couple of pops from the Elf NFT line. As far as ones that I am missing, I think there's a couple of different uh, Buddy the Elves and maybe a couple of other characters. These are definitely my favorite and let's take them out of the box. I gotta say out of box, these look great. We're gonna start off with Leon right here, limited to 1600 pieces. I wanna say that Leon was originally a character in the original like Claymation Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. But anyways, I thought this one turned out great. I mean, I don't know. I'm always kind of leaning towards kind of the more like made up characters or cartoon characters in shows. So that was definitely one that I wanted to go after. Freddy Funko as Buddy the Elf. Obviously this makes sense as the royalty or the Freddy Funko in the set. Limited to 2000 pieces guys. And I think this is probably one of the only Freddies that isn't wearing a crown out of all the different NFT ones. And overall, I would say the elf set's pretty solid. These next three that I have right here guys are actually the only ones that I have from these sets. I only have the Freddy Funkos from them. 
But yeah, we have a couple of different ones, guys, like from the Avatar set, Teen Titans Go, and also Matrix. Let's take them out of the box. So I want to say that Freddy Funko as Aang is probably the highest piece count Freddy Funko that's out there as far as NFTs go. Limited to 4160, that's actually a decent amount. But I think overall, you know, this Freddy Funko turned out pretty good. I like the air that's around, uh, you know, Freddy Funko Aang right there. The fact that he has the arrow on his forehead, you know, that's just icing on the cake. We got Freddy Funko as Beast Boy limited to 2,500. The Teen Titans Go line didn't really interest me a lot, but I did really like this Freddy Funko as Beast Boy. I thought it was pretty awesome. And then you got Freddy Funko as Neo limited to 2,000. This one I would say is pretty darn simple, kind of like Leo that we were talking about a little bit ago with the sunglasses. The fact that, they, you know, they're translucent rather than just a plain black is pretty great. And I want to say that this is actually pretty similar to the original Neopop, the fact that he's got his hand out right there. But overall, guys, that's just three random Freddies that I was able to come across. And um, yeah, there you go. Up next, I got Retro Toys. The Freddy Funko and the Hungry Hunger Hippos from this line. I believe that there is a couple of other toys. There might be a Furby and a Mr. Potato Head that I'm missing. But these are the ones that I got. Let's take them out of box. You know, I got to be honest with you guys. I think this Freddy Funko might be the most like lackluster of them all. But I don't know. I mean, I guess it could be worse. We got Freddy Funko right there. He's the royalty in this retro toy set limited to 2000 pieces. I mean, he is holding Simon Says. That's kind of fun. He's got a Hasbro t-shirt. But I mean, come on. They could have done something a little bit different, right? Limited to 1550 pieces, guys. I really like this Hungry Hungry Hippos Pop. I honestly think it lends to being a Funko Pop pretty well. And if you actually turn it around, it has the fun little little detail guys of the little you know lever that you push when you play the game so that's pretty cool that they were able to add that but overall pretty simple guys and that's all the retro toys ones i have up next guys i have the complete line of kellogg's nfts starting things off with good old freddy funko right here this is freddy funko's diggum limited to 3,000 pieces i gotta say i think this is a pretty cool freddy funko this is it looks pretty much exactly like the diggum the frog funko pop you know he's holding the big old spoon and he's got the diggum shirt overall i think it turned out great if we go on over to some of the legendaries right here guys we got sugar pops pete limited to 1640 Honestly, I mean, not bad. It's probably my least favorite all, out of all the different Kellogg's characters that they did for NFTs, but still a pretty solid one. I think one of my favorites right here, guys, is Cornelius, also limited to 1640. He's the mascot of Cornflakes. There is one thing, though, that kind of makes me upset about this pop. It recently just came out with like a common Cornelius pop that you can buy pretty much anywhere, and he's holding a cereal bowl, and I think that one probably looks better than the NFT. But I mean, overall, this is still a pretty solid one. We got Coco the Monkey over here, and uh, it's limited to 1640 and finally guys the grail out of the set limited to 999 this is tony the tiger jr i want to say this is probably one of the more like cheaper grail pieces that are out there but hey any form of tony the tiger i'll definitely take it i i think i have the flocked one but hey, i'll take junior as well and overall i definitely do enjoy a good serial nft set all right, next up, guys, is some Popeye ones. I believe this was a part of like a retro comic series. I want to say maybe it was like Flash Gordon and po like another Popeye figure. I can't quite remember, but the ones that I do have right here, let's take them out of box. Okay, we're mixing things up a little bit, starting off with Bluto limited to 1900 pieces. And I think this Funko Pop turned out awesome. They do have an original Popeye Pop, so it's cool that they kind of have, you know, the opposite of Popeye and Bluto right here in Funko Pop form. That he's got his massive grin right there. He's got his mustache and his beard going on. Overall, that's a great looking Funko Pop. And we also have Freddy Funko as Popeye right there, limited to $31.98. Love the fact, you know, to a T, looks like Popeye. He's got the big old arms with the anchor tattoo, and he's holding that can of spinach. So overall, great set. Glad I have these ones. I got Halloween Series 2 up next. I actually don't have any of the Funko Pops from Halloween Series 1. I hadn't quite got into the Funko NFTs yet, but I almost have a complete set of these. I think the only one that I'm missing from the set is the Freddy Funko as Krampus, I believe. But hey, these are definitely my favorites out of the set. Let's take them out of box. You guys, this has got to be, or these have got to be some of the most top tier Freddy Funkos that are out there. And come on, you got the royalty right here. You got the Freddy Funko Jack-O-Lantern limited to 3000 pieces. One thing that I really like about this guys is his crown is actually like, looks like it's carved out of wood, which is pretty cool. 
And they also have this little lollipop that's a little translucent. You gotta love the attention to detail. The Space Zombie Freddy. I mean, if you were to ask me what Freddy Funko I would want, I probably would have never said Space Zombie. But since I have this in person, I it, it kind of makes sense. I love the fact, guys, that he has, you know, the glass on the front of the helmet all broken. And the fact that he has the 98 on his chest, which signifies, I think, the year that Funko was founded. If we're moving on over, guys. We got Phantom Freddy right here. Kind of, you know, giving us some Phantom of the Opera vibes. Dude. Dude, freaking Reaper Freddy. I mean, come on, guys. The attention to detail on all these Freddies is absolutely stellar. Of the skulls that are on the bottom right there and the fact that he's got some smoke too as well. Oh, and I just noticed that like he also has his rib cage showing right there, like under his robe. Oh my gosh, that's sweet. Limited to 999 pieces, guys. We're wrapping it up with Invisible Freddy. Some about translucent pops, guys, look absolutely awesome. And I love the fact, guys, you know, that they didn't just make his head translucent, but also his hand is translucent as well. They definitely pulled out all the stops on this one. But if you're a fan of Freddy Funko, guys, this is definitely a set for you. And I'm glad that I actually have a majority of the set. I've got one Funko Pop, guys, from the Big Boy line. And it's just the Big Boy Burger. I don't think we have to take this one out of the box. Limited to 1,500 pieces, guys. One of these days, I'll actually make it to Bob's Big Boy over in California. But hey, I figured I'd show that one off to you. And let's move on to the last two sets. All right, let's kick it off with Nickelodeon Series 2. I'm going to do this one first because, I mean, I love my Nickelodeon Pops. This one, I think, would probably be my second, you know, favorite to the first one. But I have the complete set right here. Let's take them out of the box. All right, I got them all out of box. Let's start off with Freddy Funko as Reptar, guys, limited to 2,700 pieces. Honestly, pretty solid Freddy Funko. I mean, it was kind of like the Bugs Bunny in a way that it's like Freddy Funko in like a Reptar suit. Hey, but you can't deny that's a pretty solid royalty, guys. We got Ed Big Head right here, limited to 1,800 pieces. And honestly, this is a pretty random character for a Funko Pop, but I think it's pretty cool that we got him in Funko NFT form. I actually don't have a ton of Invader Zim Pops, guys, but I have Professor Membrane right here, limited to 1,800 pieces. Definitely a pretty solid one. We move on over here to Cynthia from the Rugrats, limited to 1,800 as well. We got Winslow from Cat Dog, and he is absolutely tiny, guys. Like, probably one of the smallest Funko pops you'll ever see and then we move on to the 999 piece grail right here guys from Rocco's modern life we got Rocco lifting weights I love that his arms are really wavy kind of you know accentuates that you know he is a cartoon and kind of gives him those characteristics but overall I would say that this is a fun set let's move on to series one last but certainly not least series one right here guys definitely an awesome set and uh, it's the complete set might I add Series one to me, guys, is probably the superior set over series two. But let's start off with Freddy Funko right here, guys, limited to 2,000 pieces. And I gotta say, I think this is classic Nickelodeon right here. You know, he's a slime Freddy. He's holding one of the Nickelodeon Choice Awards. So you can't go wrong with that. We got Ember McLean, guys, from Danny Phantom. Definitely a great one as well, limited to 1550. It's funny because the only Danny Phantom characters that they have are either in an NFT form or I think Danny Phantom was exclusive to New York City Comic Con. But anyways, guys, we head on over to Vlad Plasmius, limited to 1550 as well. It's funny because on this figure, they accidentally forgot to paint the middle of it. He's supposed to have a gray streak in his hair, but for some reason, he doesn't. This one, I believe, guys, Arnold Shortman, it's just like the regular figure. He just got slime on his head, so I'm just going to leave it at that. We have a superhero Chucky right here, guys, limited to 1550. That's definitely really awesome. That's from a really cool episode. And from the same episode, guys, limited to 999 pieces, you got the Grail Tommy. He's also, you know, a superhero baby, but guys, that is all of my Funko NFTs that does it for the Nickelodeon set. Let's do a little wrap up. And folks, that is every single Funko NFT Funko Pop that I have in my collection. And holy cow, I actually have a good amount of them. I had a lot more than I had realized, but I know the Funko NFTs isn't really everybody's cup of tea. And it's kind of a weird way to distribute your kind of more, you know, limited number of Funko Pops. But I've enjoyed making videos about them and I've actually been pretty fortunate and lucky to have some in my collection. But you'll have to let me know in the comment section below if you actually do have any in your collection. Folks, be sure to subscribe as well so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching again. You guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind to one another. Always promote positivity. I will see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.